Hello everybody, welcome back to Fossil Fighters. Today we're going to be continuing right where we left off, going after Knick Knack. Uh, before that though, I just wanted to show off uh, off screen in between the last couple episodes, or last episode, not couple, uh, two new Vivasaurs we got. I think it was Django and Onyx. So, another Stego dude, like with paintings all over his body. Yeah, it's all well and good, but Onyx, ooh, ooh, he is cool. I would like to use this guy, but he's got low defense, so I don't know about that. Uh, collect a few parts before sending him in. Yeah, they even say don't send him into battle. <laughs> uh, but before we get started and go talk to Knick Knack, uh, if you may remember from the last one, ended off kind of on a low note, uh, failing that Futabi fossil, but I believe I have one fossil left, and I think it's Futabi. I'm not sure, but I want to open it up and check. So, let's get clean in that. Yes, okay, okay, okay. This might be him. I might be wrong, though. Could just be one of the other dudes that, you know, look like him. But if this is Futabi, then... Oh, yes. Maybe I can redeem myself a little bit, you know? I can't believe I did that. I, like... I never do that, and yet somehow I managed to hammer it right on the fossil. And it's all because of these stupid shapes. I hate the fossil shapes when they're like this. It's like... You're either gonna get unlucky and get a fossil that breaks easy, or you're gonna get unlucky and hammer too far either way. Ah, there's no winning. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing Nick Knack again. He is funny. Oh my goodness. He's such a weirdo in this game, but I'm surprised they never had him like make a return in any of the other games. Like It would have been really cool to have seen his character again just because he's such a weird character. I can't remember if he gives you a unique Vivisword at any point in the game, too. That might be a different guy, though. I remember uh, at the end of the game, there was someone you could uh, go against and he'd give you like a rare fossil you could only get from him. But we're doing pretty good so far. I mean, look at this. Oh, crud, I didn't even look at the... I didn't realize I did this much damage to it. Okay, well, that's not bad. That's an 80, right? Yes! Okay. Who do we get? Come on, Futabi. Boo! Alasimo. Ugh. That's disappointing. Whatever. Let's see. I think this is the purple one. I, there's a purple, a blue, and then there's Futabi. Futabi is the best. Yeah, this guy's just weird. The these this one and the blue one like have like really like weirdly just like plasticky designs, but Futabi just looks cool. He's got like armor. Lasmo exhibits equal power from the attack zone or support zone, making him a good ally. New. All right, so instead of going to uh, go sell my stuff that I have in my inventory, I think we'll just go talk to Nick Knack right now because I mean he's right in the building next to us. But anyways, yeah, we got Rosie following us around again. I have been busy doing the Neo, <laughs> the Neo Mario videos and stuff, and just other projects here and there. But I'm just happy to be back to playing this. Here we go. Welcome back, Leaf, and welcome to you, young miss. I forgot his voice. I think it was like a dorky voice. Hi, I'm Rosie Richmond. We're here to see a guest of yours, Mr. Nick Knack. Ah, he's been expecting you. Take the left elevator. His room is the first door. Thank you. Okay, let's go. I just repeated the instructions to you even though he just said them. Because apparently my character is stupid. There we go. Ba -ba -ba Good afternoon, Mademoiselle Rosie, Monsieur Lee. This is me, I am Nick I heard from Monsieur Richmond about your visit <laughs> and your desires. <laughs> it is Woolbeard's beard ribbon you want, eh? That would trickle your pansy, eh? Uh, yes? I will be more than happy to grant your request, considering your relation to Monsieur Richmond. Really? That's great! Oh now, spool your nets, girl. There's a price to be paid. It is a one-of-a-kind treasure, after all. <laughs> I can't get over his face. It like, makes him sound so smug. That like weird like side smile he's got. So, uh, what do we have to do to get it? Hmm, Nick is thinking. Thinking? Thinking? Hmm. 
of all the things there are, there are three that you wish for. Search and bring them here, and you will have your ribbon. Three? Hey, I arrested my pump trying to get that gear ribbon. He gave it to you. <laughs> Since we've all agreed to my plan, the first thing I need is a multi bug shell. You want a bug shell? You do we have to get fossils. Too correct! So well educated. Uh, the Diggity Chieftain seems to know a lot. You should ask him. When you find it, would you bring it to me? Then I'll give you the next project. Oh. <laughs> Good luck and thank you for your kind offer of service! Ah, now be gone, children. I must get to riding my seesaw. We. <laughs> I forgot he had an accent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> A French one at that. Or maybe he's just like an American guy saying French words, trying to act cool. Who knows? Alright, so I guess we're just heading to the dig -a dig site. So let's head there. All right, and we are back at the uh, dig -a dig village. Oh, never mind. There's a dog. Hello. Bow wow. Wait a minute. I know that voice. When we got on the pirate ship. Who are you? And why are you trying to stop us? Growl. Rawr. Rex attacked. Yes. Good luck. I'm just going to step aside while this dog doesn't maul you, but instead brawls you. Okie dokie. I think our team's fine. Though, so, oh dang, you know, okay, I need to put a water type on the team. Whoops. Dang it, I was really counting on getting through Tavi. Alright, we're still above him a bit. The thing with Rex is that the Nodo is, like, super bad at times. Like, sometimes, it just, it doesn't do a lot of damage, and it also misses a lot. Most of, most of Rex's Vivasaurs are pretty terrible. Well, you know, we'll just go green for green, right? Probably should use my support guy, but whatever. It's, it's, it's the, the thing is, you want to use your support Vivasaurs, but at the same time, your guy up front is going to be your strongest. Perplex shot. I shoot win! Ah, oh, dang it, it actually worked. Oh, I hate confusion. Okay, well, that worked out okay. That's fine. Who's attacking? Ah, boo! Uh, fine. I mean, you just wasted all my stuff, whatever. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. He can't busy me. It's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. And he's just going to use Spinex Fang. Okay, that, whatever. Why are you attacking him? Ah. Uh, not enough. Uh, fine. Okay, here we go. War off. Not confused anymore. I'm back in control. Oh my goodness, he did it again. Oh no, that's just the normal combo. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, auto counter. Ooh, big damage. Okay, so that does 63. That does 78. For literally the same exact price. Yeah, we're doing this. A one and a two. And a here we go. Could be better. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take way longer than it was supposed to. Oh gosh. Slowly but surely, we will get there. Oh, you suck. That was a very slow blow. Thank you for that. I don't really understand their fascination with putting in, um, I mean, I guess you can say they're vivasaurs, but I always, when I played this game, thought dinosaurs, not so much other ancient creatures, but it's still cool. I think there's a mammoth at one point, so, yeah. Poison tail! Hey, yeah, I got him. Nice. No, music, don't slow down. Bad. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another slow blow. Fine by me. I'm just gonna skip through that, because it's going extra slow. Ah, uh, that didn't do anything. Uh, might as well use Spinex while he's there, right? I mean, use the power until he dies. Yep. Yep. Oh, this is going painfully slow. But I'm getting there. I'm gonna probably finish it within the next few turns. 
Ooh, oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, but he killed him. Well, that's bad. And I'm already at max. Oh, you guys suck. Fine, jerks. Finish him. Finish him. Yeah. That was a depressing death ant sound. <laughs> Okay, and we'll use Lexo just to be safe. Just I don't want to have to make this go. That move is one of the coolest. I love that one. Just like full on spin attack. It turns into a Beyblade. All right, we good. Hey, uh, how convenient is that that there are three artifacts and three BB bandits? Mm -hmm. Oh dang, he's got the super confusion on. Oh, he's dead anyways. Doesn't really matter. Bye! <laughs> uh, yeah, that was one of the things though I wish, um, with the background and the top screen and the main screen where they fight, it would be so cool if they could have, like, actual decorations, like, instead of just a circular background. Alright, there we go, there we go. Good, good, good. Bye two, bye two. And bye four. You know, we'll probably swap out a V-Raptor for, uh, someone water-type. I don't know who. Maybe Onyx? Well, Onyx is really low-level, though, isn't he? Yikes. Alright, that was fun. Bye. Okay, here we go. Oh. Hi, Mr. Chieftain. How are you, Digga, doing? Oh, no, no! What is it about this place that's when you see that Digga dang word? <laughs> I have no idea. What brings you here, Diggity? We're trying to find a molted bug shell, Digga. Do you know where we can find one? I do, Diggity. Deep underground. They push fossils with their backs and blah blah blah. There are many around, but their shells are difficult. But we use them as toboggans in the winter months. We learn to make the bugs bolt. Requires the ritual. And let me guess, the ritual is... Shake them hips! Vigorously shake our hips. Digga dig. How does shaking your hips make the bugs move? It is not easy. The hip shaker dance requires passion. When they feel the vibration, they rise to the surface and shed their shells. Would you like to try it now? No, we dig it don't need to travel to the sacred land? No, because you're standing on it now. This is the sacred land. Oh. First, I will demonstrate Digga dig. Won't the fossil bugs surface and molt for you, Digga dance? Why do we need to learn it? My hip shaking is insufficient. Only passionate, vigorous shaking of a young warrior. Now please follow my example. Shake, 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 shake. Cut out the music. Okay, whatever. <laughs> now that you've seen how to do it properly. Oh, okay. You just press a button rapidly. Yes. Shake. Oh, oh, she's in the background. I just noticed her. Shake. Shake hips. Ooh, I thought I failed for a second. I was like, they really slowed down at the end. You have performed it yourselves. Dig a dig. We did it, Leaf. You got the bug shell. Thanks for the dig a dance lesson, Chieftain. Leaf, let's take this bug back to Nicknack. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, and we are back at Nicknack. Da da, yeah! Mr. Knack, we brought you your bug shell. Oh, Ooh, how wonderful! Let me twirl. This molten bug shell will make a magnificent toboggan in the winter months. You have done very well. I have forgotten his accent. Thank you, merci, be calm. You said there were three things you wanted? What's next? <clears throat> the next item is a sandal fossil. Huh, funny. There's no such thing as a sandal fossil. <laughs> right? Ta-da! What? It's a sandal fossil? That doesn't make any sense. What are those? Things have to be in the ground for a long time. How did a sandal get fossilized? Let me guess, it was like a sandal worn by a dinosaur or something? That's what you think. Huh, huh, huh. Hints at future game. Huh, huh, huh. Don't worry about the details like that. The point is that I only have the left sandal. One sandal is no good for a two-footed man like myself, so find the other one, please. A sandal fossil? There are lots of sites on the island, but they're all dinosaur fossils. Oh wait, I think there was something but a bunch of weird junk. It was over in Greenhorn Plains, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, good luck! 
binder my fossilized footwear and you'll be a step closer to the Buccaneers beard binder. Man, I butchered his voice that time. Alright, fine. We will head to Greenhorn Plains then. Okay, and we're back. Man, there are gonna be a lot of cuts this video. Oop, wait. Gotta grab this rock. Alright, now that I'm done going squirrel there. Yeah, there are gonna be a lot of cuts so far. I mean, we're not gonna do all three in one episode. I feel like that'd be trying to go too fast, but I think we can manage two. Yeah. Yeah. Dig. Work that body. Huh? What? Oh. You too. How did you get out of that pirate ship? That thing was escape proof. Sorry, trade secret. Why'd you want to lock us in there anyways? I don't know, because I'm a bad guy. If a bug is annoying you, you basically got two options. You trap it or squash it. Heh, I'm funny. I attacked. Let's battle. All good. Ah, he! Oh! Mm, ah, he has my futabi. Not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, fine. So, I think... We are all set to fight him. Um, might want to move Spinex out of first base and instead put... Let's put S-Raptor there. And then I think we're good. I hope. Um, I just... Because I don't want Spinex to go against Char Char by himself. That's how I always lost early game, I feel like. So that would kind of stink to lose our winning record so far, right? Or did we lose at one point? I can't remember. Eh. Oh, okay, you're just gonna put Futabi in the back. Oh, he's so cool! No! I want him! Man, the game's just taunting me. Also, ouch. Okay, we're moving Spine... Eh, fine, we're moving him to the back. We can do this for at least one more turn, I guess, since Treasure's in the back. Nice! Oh, 56. Whoo, one more like that and he's a goner. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, uh oh. Winding snap! Get that neck bite, you know. Stretch it out. Yeah, you're not gonna do that much damage to me, you jerk. Hurting my S Raptor. Not cool. So I am hoping we can get him in one more bite. I don't wanna have to use more points. Yeah, okay, we're good. Oh, that neck just snapped. Yikes. Oh, you little yo. Yo, for chubby, sad. Snack. I don't know what I was going with there. <laughs> Poison tail. Uh, you know what? We're gonna save it. Actually, no, we have to use it because in the next turn, I'll be at max points. You never want to be at max points because then you lose points. So we'll take what we can get, I guess. Oh, he's out. That's not good. Oh, but he's not using them. Okay, we're fine. Ooh. Ooh, 72. Yikes. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, um, how much damage is he gonna do? 63. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna move S-Raptor here. I feel like that's kind of the better thing to do at the moment. There we go. Just do a little combo on him, hopefully we win it. Oh, that did nothing! What the heck? You're a fire type! You're supposed to do damage! To, to earth types, you know. That's kind of how it works. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that, I haven't really seen him. Oh, I got attacked with that. Okay, well, I'm kind of mad that I didn't do the damage I was promised. Come on, I'll watch the cutscene this time. 14? What? What? Okay, what is this weak damage I'm giving? Dang. Fire is supposed to be better than Earth. Why am I doing no damage? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Am I gonna lose this one? Oh, no. I'm gonna go for him, maybe. I don't know. This is turning out really badly. 38. Okay, that's not ter- Oh, that's still bad. Uh, no. 
No. Oh, it's all going to it's all going bad. Oh gosh. This is what I'm talking about. Snivel Snivels or whatever his name is. So annoying. Ah uh, yes, you got your charge right now. Whatever. You should have been asleep. I hit you with the sleep thingy. Please fall asleep. Please, I am begging you to fall asleep. Please. Please. No! Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, this is going badly. We're just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again. We're just gonna keep doing it. It has to work eventually, right? No. Oh my goodness. I am so dead. Okay. Maybe we can pull this back? Oh, crud. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What? Excuse me? It just did a hundred damage. You know what? I am making sure I finish off... Char-Char. Char-Char Char will kill me if I don't take him out right now. Please. Please. Eight? Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm so mad. Oh, he's saving up, too. Jerk move, but fine. I'm literally going to lose. I can't do anything. Spinex is going to die. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's fun knowing you. 72? What? You're not even the... Okay, that guy is powerful. Okay, I need a water type on my team, don't I? Oh, man. Well, that's a depressing way to end the video. You lost the battle and returned to the hotel. <gasps> no! Why? Oh, hi, Rosie. Uh, are you awake? You got your butt handed to you pretty badly. Oh, let's get going. We're not even going to talk about it. Okay, fine. Well, not the best way to end it, but we'll get him next time. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a water type on my team for the next video, and I'm going to whip his butt. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you then. Be sure to check out the playlist for more Fossil Fighters if you haven't caught up. And if you would like to see more, let me know down in the comments and support this video. So once again, I just thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.